To get things started, I created a list of names that I would like to use for my mail merge. Save your document and then open up Word. Now, go to the Mailings tab. Click on the Select Recipients drop down button. Select Use an Existing List. Find and open your file. The default makes sense for us since I use the first row for my headers, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Next, begin typing your letter. To insert your merge fields, click on the Insert Merge Field drop down button and select your field. To preview your letter, simply click on the Preview Results button. You can cycle through your letters by using the arrows. Once you are finished with your letter, click on the Finish and Merge button. Select Print Documents. Hit OK and then print as you normally would. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to do a mail merge using Excel and Word.